Uh, this is one of those moments when communities really pull together. There are uh, federal opportunities based upon uh, what level of damage has been done. And then, of course, uh, there is the Small Business Administration, which does pretty good work. My understanding here is that uh, much of what happened here perhaps could uh, be repaired through MEMA, which is the state agency, which mirrors what FEMA does at the national level. And I've had experience with the uh, seven communities from Westfield to uh, West Springfield to Springfield, Wilbraham, all the way to Southbridge and what happened just a few years ago with the, the tornado through the Pioneer Valley. So I have a volume of information as to how opportunities might be uh, accessed. And the other th thing is that, that you don't want to mislead people. If there's private insurance, that has to be spent down first. If people have private insurance, the, generally the government is not going to intercede before the private expenditure takes place. I don't know if this has ever happened in February in this state. And a lot of people, I think, are looking at this as a, in, an indication that the climate is definitely changing. Uh, when you see a, a situation like this, does, does the, the issue of climate change immediately jump to your mind? Well, I don't want to hastily conclude that this was due to climate change, but I think that you can make a pretty strong argument that climate change is having a profound effect, not just on the temperature, uh, given the fact that uh, in Washington, bloom is already underway and that the uh, highlight might w well be on March 14th. We've had now two years with uh, the warmest temperature on record back to back. And I think that uh, you can see it in uh, the way that waterways are expanding and you can see it in more subtle ways. So I I'm a believer that the climate is being affected and I accept the notion that uh, it's man-made. Well, we're prepared to work with the Mass Emergency Management Agency, MEMA. Um, if there is any uh, costs that can be associated with uh, public infrastructure in particular, any damage to roads and bridges and so forth that from the tornado, we can provide supplemental funding in a budget, uh, working with MEMA to come up with some uh, figures and then put a sub-budget through uh, the House and the Senate. And the governor has his support, the Speaker of the House, I've already talked with him. He's very supportive of doing that as well. There's quite a bit of cleanup already in just a few days. you got to be happy with the way this community's responding. It's very impressive what this town has done, what the community as a whole has pulled together to help their neighbors, what other towns have done. And the state agencies were terrific. MEMA, the DCR, the state police, uh, Mass DOT, they all came up and helped out with equipment and personnel. And the difference between Sunday, Monday, and today is remarkable. There's still a lot of devastation. It's still a shock. Um, but people seem secure in their structures. There's, I see work going on. Uh, so there's a lot of rebuilding to do, but the progress is, is enormous in just five days.